Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, I'm Cyclone. It's time for our Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. I said I'd have a treat for you this weekend. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a treat. These are two of the original scenarios that came with really, really old packs that you can no longer pick up. Uh, the scenario we're going to play today is called Color Blocked Stock on the Castle Rock Railroad. This came with pack number 24060. This was the original BN uh, local pack. As you can see, I've swapped it in to use the SD40 from the Euro from the uh, US local and asset pack. So we are gonna use that train today. You can also see we have a scenario here called Cake Mix. Cake Mix used the original Santa Fe 24057. I believe there were two liveries that were showed up in the scenario, one of which was a red and yellow livery. I'm gonna see about using that one in a, in a later Cahoon Pass scenario at some point in the future, but I'm just doing these two scenarios for right now. So for this scenario, I put two of the ATSF blue and yellow trains in. I do know of a red and uh, yellow one that is on uh, Railworks America. And uh, provided I can locate that and get that in here, I will see if I can replace the correct one with that. Uh, because I want to show that off as well. Uh, I'm going to still be driving the Santa Fe one, obviously. But I want to see if I can show off this uh, other one as well. Because uh, it will be nice to see that other one. It's also worth knowing that the ATSF local will have the air brake system because it is a newer route from mile post simulations from arizona divide so it will have the air brake system functionality i'm going to be playing the scenario with the air brake version of the train which the scenario was not tested with i already played a cohen pass scenario before unfortunately that was in march of 2022 i lost my film in april 2022 and the hard drive screwed up very early in the month and uh, i couldn't publish that scenario so we're going to come back and do those at a later time but i want to do these two i have not seen today as a special treat and uh, we're going to go ahead and do them today and tomorrow. And the first one we're doing today is Color Blocked Stock. We will come back to the Cahoon Pass ones. By the way, uh, I think a route was just announced by DTG. I don't know the information about it, but I do remember seeing something about it next week. So I'm going to uh, put information in when, that, when I have that announcement confirmed. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and make you aware of that and how to get that. So uh, in the meantime, and by the, by the time I take the second video, I hope to have that information on hand. I just haven't uh, had a chance to put all that together for the announcement yet. So uh, we're going to look at that a little closer as we start the second scenario. But let's start the first scenario, color block stock right now. This is on the Burlington Northern ST42. And I'm going to show you very quickly how you edit these scenarios, these old scenarios, should you get your hands on old scenario, how you can edit one of these old scenarios using TS tools to make it work perfectly. Let's go into that guide very quickly and then we'll start the scenario. So how are we going to fix this? We're going to go into TS Tools. I'm going to show you just one example using each of the trains right now. Actually, I'm going to show you on one scenario. So I'm going to bring up the veg out scenario here right now. And after we wait for five years for this to load, which, you know, it seems like a lot longer than it is. It's really only about 10, 20 seconds or so. Uh, but it seems like forever. Always does when you need it, doesn't it? This is not my fourth time, by the way, trying to record this. This recording just is not taking. I had to check this time, make sure it was working before I came in here. So now I have to do a lot of extra editing to cut this out. Go me. Uh, so here we are looking at one of the trains right now. You can see the Burlington uh, 2. Now you're going to notice that if I right click on this, over in the corner over here, it's actually going to tell us. It's not bringing up. Oh, yeah, here it is. It's going to show you the um, fact that it says it's in the SD4. Uh, SD40 BN pack 01 folder. Let's find RSC. You're going to find that uh, if I can find where it is here, there it is. You're going to see that if I scroll down to the S, I don't have SD40 BN pack 01. I have pack 02, but I don't have pack 01. What I'll have to do is I'll have to pick up this train. I'll have to go into rail vehicles. That's steep enough for this one. So we're going to pick on diesel, click on diesel, pick select available rolling stock, and we're going to find the train options. I can now select either that one. Or this one, click on swap a single item or all if there's more than one, and they're replaced. If I want to put a non-driver cab in, I can put a non-driver cab in. I've got it set to retain original numbers. The stock numbers will stay exactly the same. If I want to change them in uh, local swap later, I can, but I don't have to. Uh, by the way, I would use local swap for this, but it's been crashing on this one for some reason. I do not know why. I can't tell you why it's crashing on this one. Maybe because the original stock is not available. I have no idea. Uh, kind of a weird reason, but anyway... Um, that's how you would do that. Now, if you want to find the ATSF one, which I'm going to be using next uh, in tomorrow's scenario, let's locate that very quickly. If I go back to assets, we're going to go to 
uh, JL, which stands for Jonathan Lewis of Milepost Simulations. And you're going to find Arizona Divide. This is the only one I think exists right now on Steam. I could be wrong. There could be one or two others. But I think this is the only one currently available on Steam. And only in one variation. You go to Rail Vehicles. I'll go ahead just for fun and show you because this one has a lot of trains in it. If I go to Diesel this time, you're going to notice there's a bunch of trains. So this one takes a lot longer to load all of the trains. As you can see, it goes one folder at a time. This actually didn't take too long. This wasn't bad. So you can see we have an F45, which we don't want. We have uh, the SD40, which we do want. And there's the F45 again. Then we have this guy, which is the Dash 8. Now you're going to notice this has the red and yellow com and white combination. But again, it's a completely different train. We don't want this one. Even though it is with Arizona Divide, we don't want this one because it's not the correct uh, train for our purposes. However, this is a similar color combination to one that you'll find on Railworks America for the SD40. I'm going to see if I can get that for you. I want to try and get that for you if I can. So I'm going to uh, give it a shot and try to put one of those in and show you that one as well. No guarantees that everything will be fine with it, but it's probably going to be an AI. I might drive one of them. We'll see. But for tomorrow's scenario, I'm going to use the blue and white, the blue and yellow ones. So don't expect anything fancy tomorrow. Same thing. You're going to pick the train you want to swap in. You're going to click on swap a single item or swap all or swap in on all scenarios for the route or just swap in every consist. You have all the options that you want to do, all identical. So everything can be swapped. Again, you click save at the end. You close the scenario. After you save it, you close out of this. You close TS tools and you're done. So what's going to happen from this? We're going to go into the editor in the game. So I'm going to meet you back at the main menu. We're going to make our way to the editor. I'm going to show you the very, very simple way to fix any scenario, official or otherwise. Any scenario that has a dash in the menu. So the train information and not only does well, the train information show up in the menu, but the scenario files themselves will be edited to the point that you can now see all of the consist information like you can on modern scenarios. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to be able to go into the scenario properties file. You're going to see everything in there like on modern files, whereas the original versions of these files do not have all that information. It only shows the constant name and that's it. So we're going to see very, very updated scenario files uh, after we do this. You can actually go look at the scenario files and confirm for yourself. So I'm going to go ahead into the um, game and I'll meet you back there. See you there. Now. These two scenarios I need to do a little more work on because as you can see, the train is not properly showing up here. The reason is because the format the uh, bin file is saved in is actually not a correct format. So I'm going to go ahead and head into the editor. We're going to go ahead and do a quick save over there and then we're going to see those get fixed. By the way, the same thing is needed for these high nose scenarios and these other BNSF scenarios. And there might be more down here. Nope, that's it. So there's, there are other scenarios on the MK1 pack and things like that as well that need to be fixed like this because they're in an old format. Keith Ross's scenarios on UK Train Sim, which closes, by the way, now on August 31st, if you weren't aware of that, of this year. Uh, those scenarios need to be changed into a format that can be read by the app. So they're older format scenarios. Port Road did the same thing. Older format scenarios all show up with a hyphen on them. And if you go to sort by uh, using the little thing here, that hourglass thing, these do not show up in the sort. You only see the stuff that has a train on it like this. So I'm going to go in the editor. I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can make the train show up after you uh, bring this scenario like this into the game. In this case, this is actually a still sold scenario pack. This is still sold. So, uh, But this is not. And these are the two we're dealing with. So let's go ahead and take a look in the editor. All we have to do to fix this. I'm going to head over to the editor right now. So over to the main menu we go. We're going to head over to build. You can see now a list of all of these scenarios uh, for a route. So we're going to click on the route. Don't mind Chicago Yard, by the way. That's a, a little thing that uh, came with a GP9 pack. It does not get any use. So uh, we're not going to worry about that. It's not even available. It hasn't been available for years. But uh, I managed to get my hands on it, luckily. So we're just going to leave it at that. Uh, so going to uh, color blocked stock. It's the first of the two scenarios we're going to look at. We're going to hit edit. We're going to wait for five years. And now that we're in the editor, I'm going to do one trick to make this so we can save this scenario. Because if I hit F2 right now, actually, it's going to let me. It might not do the uh, job properly, though. So just to make sure it does the job properly, I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go ahead and spoil what my mission is. I'm going to see this 1545, which does not make a lot of sense. This is timetabled. Okay, this looks possible. Maybe it isn't, but it looks possible uh, based on the time frame. Uh, we're going to figure this out later. This is, of course, the player train. There is no other stock here driving around, oddly enough, which I 
Yeah, this was the one that had all new stock. Okay, that makes sense. It was all new stock in this scenario. So we have to get there in 40 minutes. I think that's possible. We'll find out. If it isn't, we fail the scenario. Uh, so I'm going to uh, go and uh, basically do something to change this for a moment. And all I'm going to do is basically as simple as this and this. Gone. Let's get back to, we're going to OK that. We're going to hit save. And that should do it. Let's do the other scenario now. So heading over to Cake Mix now, we're going to edit that one. So once again, we're in the editor. I'm going to go to the tab. I'm going to go ahead and just pick this. I'm going to go yes, yes. That counts as an edit. We get out of here. We hit F2. We hit save and back to the menu. And just like that, we fixed two scenarios. You can see that the Burlington Northern is now showing as the train for the color blocked stock. You can see the ATSF is now showing as the train for the Cake Mix scenario. I can now publish these scenarios to the Steam Workshop because standard scenario IDs are not protected in the Steam Workshop. I can publish the exact scenario with the edited stock to the Steam Workshop. Who saw that one coming, huh? And now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and get this scenario started. So let's start color block stock in the SD42 Burlington Northern. Start by walking around the yard to familiarize yourself with where the hoppers are located. All the colored hoppers will need to be moved. We know how that works. So let's just do what it says. We're going to hit F6. We're going to hit F7. Hey, let's detach and let's hit pause. So uh, and before we do anything else, I'm going to bring up the task this as well. There we go. Notice we have a Marshall task. We have to basically find all these cars, apparently put them in the correct order, and then work from there. So 218357 uh, two, is apparently the first train. Our first set of cars. If we're, that's not here. 218357 is apparently not here. That is promising. But we have 218557, which is here. So it looks like we're going to be starting at the back. 218026 is the start of that. We're then going to go to 218933, which seems to be um, not this one. 218933 is a different set. Well, this is promising. Where are the rest of the cars, you might ask? I have no idea yet. We're going to figure this out as we go. Uh, but it looks like a lot of the cars we need are back here. There's 218357. So that's the set that continues all the way to 218336. You can see that is eight cars. 218639 is somewhere in this area somewhere. No, it is not. 218639 is not here. That is promising. You can see um, on the back of this set is 218291. So it looks like we're going to have four cars to find to put in between. That set is going to end up on a 218878. These cars are not related, so we need to get these guys out of the way. So 218878 is right there. Uh, 218878 has how many cars in it? Oh, it doesn't matter how many because I already know what the first one is. So again, we're going to have to get several cars out of the way because 218026. So I need to find another set of three cars. So we have two sets of cars to find, or maybe some individuals. Where are they? Well, they're not here. You can see they're not here. They're not over there. Where are they? Well, let's head up here and find out. Oh, there they are. Uh, so there's 218639. 218639 has been found. Uh, we're going to be going to... Eventually, we're going to be moving everything to this area, which is interesting. So again, we're going to have more stuff to get out of the way. That is promising. Um... So we have a set of four cars here. We have another set of three cars here. And you can see this is just going to get very, very interesting at this point. Things are going to get very tricky. So this is basically the front of our area right here. We can come all the way up here to do our movements. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's another of our uh, locals, by the way. Hello. So this is going to be a lot of fun here trying to sort out all these cars. I did not realize this treat was going to involve me going through some shenanigans for you. So I need to hop on the first set of cars and get them in place. Once, uh, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back here. I'm going to start by grabbing 218557. I'm going to grab that set of cars. The last one in that set is 218026. I'm paused, by the way, so I'm not wasting time. 218026. I'm going to then find 218933, which is all the way back up here. 218933 is not that one it's this one so i'm going to be moving all the way up through here past all these trains 
I'm going to be sticking more cars. I'm going to be coming to the front of this, basically. I'm going to be uh, reversing back in. I'm going to stick the cars into there. I'm going to leave those cars there for now. I'm then going to work on putting all the other cars together, which means I'm going to take the 218715 back. I'm going to have them ready to go. So that way everything's together. I'm going to move everything out of the way that I don't need. And then basically from that point forward, it's a matter of just putting the cars together, bringing them up. This might be doable in less than 45 minutes, way less than 45 minutes. It might be possible. So I'm going to start by grabbing the first set of cars. Let's uh, go ahead and unpause now for a moment because I'm going to be bringing 218557 first. So let's unpause. I'm going to leave the car numbers up for both your convenience and mine. Let's start by bringing the train up where I need to bring it. I'm located over here, which means I need to shunt out of the siding here. I believe the first cars were right next door. No, they're not. Notice we're getting more messages. That's not the cars I want. I want to go further. So the white two and three bay hoppers around the yard will not form part of your final concept. I figured that out. But you may need to shut them out of the way. I did figure that out. Let's get moving. Let's make sure I can move out of this area. So I'm not going to go at full speed quite yet, just to be sure. Let's go to the map very quickly. And I do need to shunt you. Okay. I need you. Nope, I need you. Thank you. Freight cars must end up in the correct order, uncoupled from your engine, and cast the rocks cement departure one. The sequence is based on the color of the sets of cars, and should be brown, black, blue, green, red, green. Brown, black, blue, red, green. Fantastic. Let's watch where I end up here on the map. Nope, not there yet. We're going to get another message, I believe. You can see more of the cars coming in front now. Not only must the order be correct, but you are under time pressure. Thank you. We must be in the cement shed by 1545. Let's just try. This may not go well, ladies and gentlemen, but we're going to try. Welcome to the time crunch. So we're making our way into the first section we need to be in. I'm going to prepare to hit the brakes in just a moment. Hide that for a second. And we're now have a, we have now arrived at just a moment. As we're going to back up, we're going to head over to our first set of cars. Which ones? I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, I know it's the leftmost, so I probably want to go... Uh, yeah, this looks correct. Nope, that does not look correct. There we go. Am I on the right siding? I believe that's the right sign. We're going to start with that because I think those are the ones we want. So we're going to take the brakes off. We're going to reverse you. We're going to look behind me. That is behind me. Let's turn this back on. This will tell me that we have the right cars. So I'm now reversing. Let's see how quickly we can do this mission. So I'm pulling off exactly where I expected to. That is good. So the first one I want once again is 218557. You see 218557 indeed is the one furthest to the right. That is the one that we're going to be putting together here first. And we're going to pray that marshalling tasks still work. <laughs> Marshalling tasks are somewhat stressful because you have to figure out what you're doing. Okay, let's go back a little further. That's good. No faster than five miles per hour for the time being. I'm being challenged with eyesight from a sun in my window right now. I chose a perfect time of day to do this. Time limits, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm already coupled. Okay, I didn't realize I was that close. Perfect. We're going to get stopped. We're going to move forward. And this time I am going to actually go towards the front of the entire shebang. We're going to head all the way, not this way, but this way, I believe. Is that the right one? Hold on. We're going to, we're not going very fast. I have time. I want to come up via which one? Uh-oh, hold on, hold on. Let's pause for a second. That's screenshot. I don't want a screenshot. 
let's see what we got here. Track number one is probably free. Do I want track number one? Track number one is free. Okay, let's go track number one. That seems to be the best one to work with. So we're going to keep this exactly where it is, uh, except that we're going to change this one. That will send us via track number one. I'm going to make sure these sidings are set to get us out. It looks like it is. I'm going to make sure continuing that it makes is set to get us out. It looks like it is. And by doing that, we're now going to have to set this, which will get us exactly where we need to be onto the line out. We're not leaving. That's where we want to be. And I inadvertently have a screenshot of my work. Excellent. I have a screenshot of me doing almost nothing. So I'm now at 14 miles per hour. There is no speeding penalty in this scenario because there are no points uh, to obtain, but we're just going to try to do it properly anyway. As soon as we get to the front, I'm going to back this set of cars, which, by the way, now ends at 218026. That means I need to find 218933 and shove the whole thing together. That's what I'm going to do. Back to the front. I know what I'm doing for the moment, so we're going to hide that. And we're going to poke our head out the window. Ah. Oh. Ah. So it's not really out the window. It's standing on the front of the locomotive. That's what we're doing right now. Excellent. Hey. We got, a, got someone loading a truck. I love it. The graphics are a bit eh. But you know what? It works. It's someone loading a truck. I'm not going to complain. Old days of railworks, ladies and gentlemen. So let's turn this on for a second. We can see 218933 is right here. That is not the one I believe we want next. No, it is. 218933 is the one we want next. So it's right next to us right now. So I don't even have to ask at this point. I know what I'm doing. We're going to continue along the straight track here. Not taking that path to the left. I should be shunting off here. Yes. So now I want to get the entire train past that point and stop. Once it crosses over, I'm coming to a stop. I've already put a little bit of brakes on. There's no air brakes on this local, so I can use the brakes as much as I need to. Let's go ahead and stop right there. We're going to go ahead and reverse the points. And there we go. We can now back into the next set of cars. So I'm going to go into reverse. Preferably not too fast because I want to see what I'm doing over here. So the points have been changed. We're now going to proceed backwards. I think, actually, I'm going to come a little faster because I know we're under a time limit. But I will slow it down as we get closer. So now we're going to slow it down quite a bit, actually. Quite a bit. There we go. We're going to uncouple the entire mess, which means we're going to bring up coupling view. We're going to say sayonara. And forward we go for a moment so we can get ourselves positioned on the next set of cars. We go forward. We leave everybody behind. So we now know that that set of cars is all good to go. So now we need to get to a point that we can take our next set of cars backwards. Let's take a quick look as I go at a slower speed. We're going to detach. I know that we need to get these cars out of the way. These are some of the cars we need. We can go straight back with those. So in order to do that, we need these guys out of the way. Guess what we're doing? We're moving these guys. So uh, 
There's our other loco. We can treat that loco up ahead as our barrier. We don't want to go past that loco. There's a guy working on it there, apparently. I'm going to go forward far enough that we are pointing our way out, which is what we're going to try and do. We're going to get these uh, cars out of the way. We're going to move them over to a siding where they're not needed, probably two over, and then we should be all right. We can then back everything up to the other side and work on it back there. So we should be able to come to a stop now. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're not quite at the point. A little further. A little further, please. A wee bit further. And now we can stop. Here we go. That's where I want to go. So I'm going to go ahead and back up. And now we're going to hop on top of the train again and look backwards. So I need to get some crap out of the way here is what I'm getting at. Once I get this crap out of the way, we're good. So I'm going to hide this for a moment because I know these cars we don't need. We're also coming in very fast for what we're doing. So let's just do this. Probably not having a collision today. Good enough. Forward we will proceed. We'll take these guys out of this area. Because like I said, these guys don't help us. They're not numbered. We don't want them. They're not good enough. So where are we going to put them? Well, let's look two yards over. We're going to find more cars in this yard that are not numbered. These guys are not numbered. And behind them is nothing numbered. So this is the perfect sign to stick him in. And that will solve our puzzle for us. Once these are all the way, we can move the other cars back. So these guys are going to come out of the siding. Far enough that I can reverse back in a moment. We're going to look at the map as I get and get ready to do this. Uh, I know immediately that this is going to have to happen. And I can cross that point because we're not actually there yet. So that's fine. We're not on, that, not on that part of the track yet. So that point was safe to change. You see we are having a... Uh, have to get all the way across the point here. So we have to basically... We can basically use this whole section here up to the main line. We just can't go on the main line. And I don't know if there's actually some kind of a limitation of points where we're going to get timed out of the scenario or not. But since we can't go on the main line, I hope not. So we're going to back these guys up now. Once I'm far enough in that I don't cross any of the points, I can let these cars go. So let's get to the back. You can see we are going to back into the third track as the tracks form. This is indeed the third track as the tracks form. So coming back to the front of the train, we want to get the entire set of cars past the points. That is urgent. Making sure the back of the train isn't going too far. Let's not stop completely yet. I'm not ready to stop completely. Don't want to stop. Com I stopped completely. Am I back far enough? I might be back far enough anyway. I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm going to stop there. This should be good. This should be just fine. Not a problem. We're going to let these guys go. We're going to go forward again. And we're going to do what we just did a moment ago, but the other way. So hide the coupling view again. So the cars we don't need have been pushed out of the way. At least some of them. Now, if there are cars in the way way back where we have to work, we actually now have another empty siding because we brought the other set of cars up. So there's now another empty siding we can work with. So if more cars need to be moved, we're actually going to be in good shape. I'm past the point. Here's where I'm going. Reversing. And starting. We are now 14 minutes into our mission. We have 31 minutes to get the engine back to the shed. So 
So you can see the next set of cards we need, which you may remember is the uh, one with two one eight one seven five. Now it's not or seven one five. It's not the actual next set. However, we do need to connect that batch to something else. We're going to analyze this further when we get there. Once we get back there and get those connected, we can grab the set in the middle, put them in front, and drag them all up to the correct siding. Once they're in the correct siding, we're good to go. We just have to connect the other cars and we're finished. So this looks a little overwhelming when you get started, but uh, once you know where everything is, it's just a matter of completing the puzzle. So I slowed down to five miles per hour so I don't have a crash. Once I connect to the cars, we'll find out what the next car is to connect to the back of this set specifically. Okay, so we have connected. I'm going to go ahead and keep going backwards now. Not too much because I have to set a point. So 218639. That one's going to have to connect to 218336. Let's go ahead and make sure our points are set to keep reversing. Our points are not. There we go. So we're going to be heading back... Okay, I need to actually do a very, very quick double check here. Let's find which cars we're connecting to. I'm going to keep things going slowly for now. 218336 is this one. That's a problem. Okay, this is a problem. I'm going to have to use my temporary siding here to stick these cars in. So the siding I already emptied, we're going to be using that one now. I have no choice. I have to put the cars in that siding. So we're going to go ahead and shuttle this over here. And that will come in here, and we're going to go ahead and temporarily use this siding. I only have one more set of cars in the way. I don't like it, but I'm going to have to use that side. I'm going to have to grab the next set of cars in the middle and put them in front. That's what I'm going to have to do. I'll explain this further when we get back there. Let's put some speed on. That's just added about five minutes to our mission. Thought it was going to be easy, but no. Can't be so easy. So we don't want to bring too far in the siding here, because if we... Actually, I guess we're going to have to, because we're going to have to bring more cars in. But we can push them back after. That's fine. So we're going to make sure this point is clear for now. That's all that matters. So you're going to be clear. We're going to uncouple this mess. Done. Forward we go again. So as I move forward just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and not go too fast. Let's take a quick look here at our mission list. You can see 218715 we just put here. Next to that, we have 218878 way back there. Notice 218878 comes before 218715 by about six cars. So that is the first set we need to grab, those six cars. We're going to put them into this siding with the ones we just put in. They're going to all be together. We're going to move the unneeded cars away. And after that, it's just a matter of moving everything forward and hoping that I didn't block a track. So brakes are on, I did not want 100%, but we'll take it. I mean, I can use it. So uh, we're going to head to this track now. We're going to grab those cars I just identified. This will now empty this track and this siding for use for the other cars I don't need. So let's back up a bit more. I think 12 is fast enough for this. We have a little ways to go here. I think I'm going to have to actually hide these for a moment so we can actually see what we're doing. In fact, I'm going to turn that off too because that's just identifying me. And I'm going to slow down a little bit because I don't even know where the train is right now. So let's slow down. I'm going to detach. I'm going to run ahead. We're going to have a collision. 
We're going to have a collision. I'm coming in too fast. I need to clean my screen, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm finding here. I need to clean my screen. That could have been bad. <laughs> I came in a little too fast there, I think. I'll take it, though. So, uh, back in the cab for a moment as we go forward. Hide this. I might be just a little too fast there. Actually, I'm going to go to 10, maybe 12 again. We're not loading, we're just marshalling. There we go. So looking at the top of the train one more time. We're going to come across the point here. I'm going to go ahead and detach at this point. We're going to go ahead and just watch the train come by because this is the point that it needs to cross. Once the last car is across the points, we're going to stop and reverse in again. Twenty minutes into our forty-five minute mission here. I put on some brakes. I don't like getting constantly moved over there, but I keep getting moved. We're gonna now connect very the cars are very, very early in the sign in this case, so it actually works out very nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and leave everything in that sign temporarily because I have to move more cars out of the way. This I do remember. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we move the other cars out of the way. So let's reverse this for right now. Not too fast because the other cars are early in the siding. So I don't want to come in too fast. I'm going to actually stop it no faster than 7 or 8 right now and take a little bit off as I come in. I could have put a little more gas on to start off here, I guess. This is good enough. So now we're going to put some brakes in. That'll do. Let's make sure we connect safely. Very good. We're going to keep backing up now. And now I want to know when the rest of the train... Actually, you know what? We can leave this here for a moment. Oh, no, we can't. We need this track free. We need this track free. We can't leave this here. So we're going to proceed back a little further here. We're going to free up this point. And then we're good to leave this for a moment. Okay, we're good. Leave it. We're done. We're done with this. Let's move this all the way. Scrolling if I can. Can I? Thank you. There we go. Let's detach you. We're going to unhook. And everybody is going to stay there for a moment. So let's move this train up. We know the line ahead of us is clear because we been came in that way, so we don't have to worry about speed or looking forward at this time. We know we're good. While we're going forward, I'm going to set the point that we need here, which is this one. The train is going to be coming back into this now empty siding, so these cars need to come into that siding. Let's make sure I'm past this point. I'm going to hit the brakes now. So I'm past the point. I did not break completely, but I'm going to go ahead and cheat and just use the throttle at this point because I'm backing up anyway. So I'm coming back at about 10 miles per hour now. We're going to slow down as I get closer. I could go to 15, but I'm not crazy. Putting a wee bit of brakes on. We're going to put a little bit more as I'm getting closer. Down to six. A little more. I'm now at safe connecting speed, so that's fine. We're going to just take a little more off to be safe because I'm going to go forward anyway. We're connected. Forward we go. Out of the way these will be.
Now, if you want to be cute, you could have probably brought these up with the um, at the same time as the other cars, but I think it would have actually caused more of a problem because you would have had to leave them in a siding somewhere where they would have been out of the way, and at that point, you would have had too many cars to bring up. So uh, you would have had too many cars in that siding. You would have had to connect them. So that wouldn't have been a good idea, I don't think. I'm actually glad I did it this way because I believe this is the correct way to do it. There is no one correct solution to a puzzle like this, but there is usually the best solution. My goal is to find the best solution. So we're going to check this point against. Uh, there's exactly where I want to be, so here we are. Going to move the train into reverse as I come to a slowdown. I took the brakes off early, but I'm in a hurry, so can you blame me? Trucks going by on the road. Or for you UK people, lorry. Coming up to 10 miles per hour. We're now backing into the exact siding I need right here. The blue line tells you. The cars over here will come back to as soon as these disconnect. So the mission now is to grab this set of cars, this set of cars. So those two sets of cars. Uh, we don't care about those. So once we grab these two sets of cars, we're going to bring them up. We're going to put them into the exact siding we need, which is departure one, the now empty siding. We're going to then head over, grab the set of cars we already worked with. We're going to connect them. We're going to go home. That's basically what we're doing. I'm not back far enough yet. Don't break. Let's look where the engine is. That's a good hint. I'm going to give these a little bit more space because these are ones we're leaving behind. That'll do. We have lots of room in the siding, as you can see. Not a problem. So we're going to disconnect this again. I said disconnect this again. Thank you. So let's review the uh, requirements again. We're going to be... Wrong option. We're going to be connecting... Um, let's not go too fast, actually, because we're going to be coming right here. We're going to be connecting 218336 to 218639. You can see they're next to each other in the list. Well, they're not. They're on opposite. They're on the next line from each other, but that counts. That counts as being next to each other in the list. So we're going to move forward just a little further here. Am I past the point yet? No, I'm not. A little further. There is a point right there. You see the yellow indicator there? I'm going to actually click that from up here. Did it turn? I don't think it turned. I didn't see it turn, but I can't tell if it turned. I'm in the wrong spot. Uh, it did not turn. You know what? We're just going to do it this way. Screw it. So now we're going to reverse. We're going to come in slowly because I didn't give these guys too much room. So we're going to come in very slowly. Let's hide this again. I could have done this just a little faster. I've got 18 minutes left. I'm already putting the reverser into forward because I know what I'm going to have to do next. Okay, forward march. And we have a bit of a longer consist this time, so we're going to go ahead and bring these guys at a higher throttle to get out of here. So we're going to keep an eye on the end of this consist because that's what matters. The front of the line, we haven't changed where, we're, where we came in from. And coincidentally enough, the front of the line is exactly where we're going to be dropping these cars off. Right in that lane right there. So we're going to eventually be coming in there anyway. But we need to get the back of the lane lined up with the cars over here. That is the next and last thing we have to do in this section. And then we can bring those cars forward, drop them off at the front of the siding, bring the other cars in, and call it a day. That's all we have to do. So I'm going to start hitting the brakes now, and we're going to watch for the point to be crossed. Oh, stop it. Tell you what, let's center on the train, shall we? That's probably more convenient. So I'm going to put a very small amount of power on for right now just to make sure I have the right movement. We are going the right way, so let's keep going. 
We are at the back of the train, exactly where I want to be. I don't want to put on too much power because we have been doing very well so far. I'm pretty sure I have this correct. That's not what I wanted to run into. We're going to be coming all the way back to these guys right here, I believe, is what we're seeing. So let's uh, bring this up again. Yep, that's it. So now we'll take a little more power because why not? We're going to back out just a little bit so we can see the car coming in cleanly. Let's hide you. So you can see the numbers approaching. Let's hide the numbers. Let's hide the train. We should be able to see this well enough, I would think, right? Let's not come in too fast. Thank you. Seven to eight is good for right now. We have lots of time. I'm not worried. We're doing good. We've got a few more movements to make. We should be able to do it by 40 minutes. And then it's home. There we go. Forward we go. That'll do it. And we're now moving a consist of, uh, I don't know, 18 cars forward. Gets a little heavier as you go. Now you could theoretically bring a set of cars up and uh, go from the back again, but that just takes a lot of time to go back and forth. So this might have not been enough time in order to do the task in that case. So I'm, I still think this was the best option. Now that we're looking at the uh, consist from a forward position in the HUD, I'm going to go ahead and bring the entire consist into Casa Rock Cement Departure. I'm going to bring it up actually a little bit because I'm going to try to speed up by connecting quicker at the um, front and then I can just leave things as soon as I'm past the point. So I'm going to try to do things in a way that I can do things as quickly as I can right now. So we're going to bring this closer to the front of the siding for that reason. Once I've done that, I can go ahead and keep backing it up if I need to to make room. So I'm going to watch where the engine shows up at the front of the siding, and that's where I'm going to stop for the disconnection. Just to review, the only thing left to do at this point, once I get those cars, is to head over to here, grab these, and I'm done once I connect them together. The ones in the middle, I can ignore. I want to make sure I bring the whole thing to the front of the siding because if I don't, I'm going to have a lot of space to go to bring those cars to connect them. That's not what I want to do. This is going to be very close, I think. this. I think we're going to have a few minutes to spare, but it's going to seem very close until we actually get there. We are fully in the sign at this point. So in theory, we could stop in real life anytime now. I'm going a little bit further. I will push the whole consist back further as I need to. So let's go ahead and bring it to a stop now. We are going to need at least that much room. So let's bring it to a stop now. And if I can get over here, thank you. We're going to disconnect it. We're going to continue forward. We're going to leave our block of colors over here. We're going to clear on to this point. We're going to pass this point. We should be passing it now. Not quite, but we're going to break anyway. And now we are past it. So, over to this siding. The first one we started in. This set of cars right here. I did not click the right one. I need to click this. So that's the set of cars I want to connect to now. Let's reverse one more time into those.
We will do a little bit of speed starting out here because I have 11 minutes to go and I still have to get to the shed to finish the mission. I don't realize how far back they are right now. Oh, they're all the way back there. I have a little more space. Okay, good. Good to know. Let's just keep the numbers up for a moment. Because for some reason, I'm having a hard time seeing this on my screen right now. But we're getting there now, so I'm going to go ahead and slow down. I see him now. Okay, we got him. Ten minutes to go. All we have to do is connect these, then take the engine home. So there's what I'm connecting to on the left. We have a little track we can still back in on. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, watch, let's say this point for right now. Once the train clears this, we're going to be almost uh, through where we need to be up here. So let's watch all these lovely, lovely colors. And as it clears... You're going to see we have this up here now. So we have one more point that we have to cross. There it is. We can come to a stop. Full stop. I'm going to hit that. Oh, I went a little too far forward there, but we'll take it. We're going to head backwards now. We're, not, we're just going to stay in this view. We're going to see the cars eventually come in. You can see that we are backing up, so I'm going to hide the F3 HUD for just a moment. There they are. They're going to connect there. So I'm going to slow down now. We're coming too fast. I'm staying on this spot because I want to see just how far I have to back up. So that's why I'm staying at this exact location. Once I see the entire train has gotten in, we're safe to disconnect. Let's keep it under five for right now until we connect. There's the full train connected. Let's put some gas on. Keep backing it in. And as soon as she straightens out, we're done. I could probably do it a little quicker, but we're going to be uh, nice and keep the point clean. The point is clean. We don't even have to straighten. We'll get the last car straight and we're done. That's enough. Let's disconnect this sucker. So the entire train needs to be disconnected first before we can complete the task. So let's take this off. That does the task. We're done. Let's get this over to home base and we're done. Well done. The hoppers are all located in the correct siding and in the correct sequence. They will be taken to Colorado Springs later in the day. Park up in the cement shed and see how you did for time. Doing it. So I don't need to worry about this anymore. We're just going to the cement shed. Oh, where's the cement shed, you might be asking? Let's verify. Cement shed is right there. So we're going to be heading back to that point. So I need to cross all these tracks, which I think are all set for us now. So uh, I'm back. I'm up far enough. I'm now going to set my path back to that siding, uh, siding number one there. And as soon as I get back to siding number one, I can then move straight forward into the cement shed. So I just need to get there in six minutes. Easy peasy. So I'm staying at this point because, you know, we got a good vantage point of a train going back and forth. Why not? I guess the train did not completely slow down, so I'm kind of just forcing the issue now. 
That's not speed. We should probably be using this the whole time too, by the way. Let's hop on the back. So I think this is the cement shed. We're going to be calling it a day right here. Am I far enough? I should be. That should be enough velocity. Yes, it is. We are now clear into cement shed. Number one, and we will finish our mission. So let's get in the front of the train. Let's just go forward at this point. Let's get rid of the coupling view. Let's stand on the front of the train, actually. That's even more fun. Why not? Now, I could do a speed run style and just stop at the very front, but I'm going to go ahead and do it properly and bring it all the way in. I have lots of time. There is another train hanging out in here. That's a black train. We are a little ways into the shed now, so we're going to bring it to a stop at this point. You can see there is going to be a buffer up ahead, so we are at the end of our area. And we are going to get marked for time right now at 1541. We have four minutes to go. Let's look at the train. I never had my headlights on. <laughs> there they are. Um, yeah, I'd be fired for that one. Uh, you can see there's an ES44AC hanging out here as well, and there's another train being worked on with its headlights on. Maybe they're testing its lights. I don't know. But if we want to, we could turn our headlights on now and just have fun. And now they're going to stay on. Awesome. Great work. You finished your work within the time scale. Scenario complete. Do you think you can do that better? I'm going to put this on the Steam Workshop. I think you can download it there. And... Um, if I am able to put it on the workshop, it might, might be under a different code. But either way, if you uh, download it, you can try and do it yourself. In the meantime, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you tomorrow for the ATSF uh, Santa Fe SD40 scenario. That'll be tomorrow. And uh, I don't remember the name of it offhand. But, uh, oh, sorry. It's um, Cake Mix. Cake Mix is going to be tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I'll see you. Have a wonderful day, evening, or night. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Cyclone. Bye-bye.